We are lightening our face to be fair. Now I'm going to have to get rid of these eyebrows and continue to lighten my lashes as much as possible. You want your eyelashes to completely disappear into your face. I'm hiding my natural lip color. This is really scary. I actually look like Iggy Azalea. I am Lord Voldemort. To stay prudent, I'm going to get my wig out so I can make sure it's right in front of me and I can compare the colors I'm putting on my face to the wig. Come on, Rockstar. You can... Good gravy, Batman. Where's your bangs? You suck! Mother fudger. I am going to choose a very ruddy color because there are a lot of reds in that auburn wig. So I'm just going to lightly tap that on there. And do not use sparkly, shimmery colors on your eyebrows because your natural hair doesn't freaking glitter. To make your brown eyes, dark brown eyes like this, really look significantly lighter, you need to buy a gray color um, in contact lenses. And what I have are blues and greens. I'm going to wear green with the wig. Again, it's not going to make a huge difference. And I'm sure you guys will get a kick out of um, what it looks like when I'm trying to put my contacts in. I'll record it for you. It's kind of ugly. Now one of the things we want to do is we want to keep our face showing auburns and browns, things that are in the wig, so that our face looks like it belongs with the wig. I can't put auburn around my eyes because you're going to look like you've been crying. Because when you cry, your eyes get red. So no ruddy colors around the eyes at all. You just can't. You can't do it. You can't do it. I'm trying to make my eyes look very small. So I'm going to get it up as close to the tear duct as possible. And it's an eyeshadow, so we got to not get it in the tear duct area. Or it will suck ass. You will be blinking for the rest of the day. Your eyes will be watering up. Your contacts will freaking get stuck on the back of your eyes. And you'll end up in the emergency room and blow your whole lot. I'm going to smudge this right in to my eyelash line. I'm not even going above my eyelash line. I'm going in where the eyelashes are connected to my eye lid just wiggling it in there my eyes tend to go like a little bit up kind of like a cat eye maybe I'll make my eye go downward a little bit which is the opposite of my eye so in order to do that I'm just gonna bring my eyeshadow down a little bit so I look very sad I just wanna hug myself it's so sad I just I look so sad beyond natural how exactly does makeup classify as beyond natural? Now we're going to make our eyes look a lot smaller. We're going to draw right in here. This is an orange, and since our hair is orange, we're going to use this as a base. I'm going to change my lip shape just a little bit. I'm going to make my lips a little bit smaller by going inside my natural line. Coral. It, it looks red right now on the video camera, I can tell. I promise you, this is like coral. And then to make it look just a little less matte and painted on, we're going to add some shine. This is coral too. It's an orangey coral. Well, I wouldn't normally wear this. All right, to make myself look a little less dead, I'm going to put on blush now. Again, a corally color. Let's find a blush brush. Why do I have a wine bottle opener in here? Must have been having a fun night when I was putting on my wig last time. This eyeshadow? Hmm. I will combine these two colors together. <laughs> eyeshadow. MAC. It does everything. I'm going to use a contouring brush. Just because I never use it, so it's clean. I'm going to do my blush a little bit differently than I normally do because I'm changing my face. I'm changing it. This is almost too much. I think I'm done. Uh, uh. And then maybe some of the yellow. You might be like, yellow on your cheeks? Yes. Oh yeah, see? Look, it's like orange. It's just, it's perfect. I mean, just gotta be creative. It's not pretty, but it doesn't have to be. This is gonna help set everything. I don't want anything moving around. 
And I'm gonna set my eyebrows too with powder. This helps lighten them up also. I don't know if you can see a difference. There's a slight difference. And so it won't smudge off either when you're, you know, interacting with whomever. I think I'm gonna put more of a brown color on my tear duct. I, I can't wait to show you guys how to alter your eyebrows. I'm not talking about just drawing them on. I'm talking about changing their shape using your actual hairs while they're still attached to your face. It's complete logic, but maybe some of you haven't thought before, oh, how can I make my eyebrows look completely freaking different? But don't worry, I've got you covered. I've got you covered. Because I've thought of all that weird shit before. Right up near the, the line, because again, I don't want my eyes to look big. I usually put my eyeshadow right in the crease because it's sexy as shit. This time I think I'm going to put it on the lid, which also helps to close the eye and make it look smaller. Uh, I think I'm going to use this. I'm going to put this right here. And this, I have noticed that redheads love to wear greens and golds and oranges, just very earthy colors, and I've noticed that they also, see how this eye already looks kind of smaller, like compared to this one, it looks kind of bigger? I'm telling you, this shit works. It's all just an illusion. That's all we are, right? We're just masters of illusion. I look really awful when I put my head down like that. I like should never do that again. Right here. Yeah. Uh, that's so much better. Look how my eyes just went up. They're just so much higher now. I have to put my hair up now. I'm not looking forward to it. I hate this part. Now usually when you have really long hair, you're going to make a bun and pull it as close to the bottom as possible. The problem is my wig has very short hair in the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my hair as flat as possible and bobby pin it to my scalp. Um, well, not to my scalp. That would be painful. I'm just going to twist it like that and make it as flat as possible to my head. It doesn't have to look pretty. Hopefully, no one's going to see this part. Your wig's going to stay on all night. You're not going to get in trouble. You're not going to have to do some sort of a reveal. You're not going to have to book it down an alley and tear your wig off. Oh, that's so cute. I have little bunny ears. I'm going to go in front of the hairline and behind the ears. This is like a new hairstyle. Really. Always learning new things. Like, don't run out of fucking hair caps. Oh, it's so hot. These little bobby pins in first. This is just going to help a tiny bit keep it to your hair. It's not going to help much. Don't, don't fool yourself. The only real thing you can do is get some kind of silicone something and freaking glue it temporarily to your head. I can't afford that. I'm just a thrifty ninja. Oh, wait. Ooh. Conehead! Please, sweet baby Jesus, go on right. Oh, that's hot! Now the problem with wigs is that they tend to sit really high up on your head because they're trying to hide the fact that there isn't an obvious hairline. I love it when the bangs are low. It's so fashionable. I'm fucking haute couture. Uh, don't curse. It's really naughty. Anyway, there are ways it's just, it's gonna have to be higher because the bangs are too low. I already had a woman cut it for me. She gave me a haircut and she said, anytime you wanna get it fixed or adjusted or if I missed anything, you just come back and I'll do it. I'll do some more. So like I was saying, the hair tends to sit really high up on the top of people's heads. That's a dead giveaway that you're wearing a wig. You see how far up my bangs are? One of the things you can do to give yourself a more realistic looking hairline is you take tweezers and you just pull out just a few, just a few of the top hairs, and then you use a little brush. You just paint a touch of foundation up there. You can wash it out later. I have wig shampoo and a wig brush. I just, I need to get these bangs cut shorter. There's nothing I can say about it. I, I look like a product of the 1970s. I'm not sure if it's hiding everything. I just gotta be more orange. I gotta match. 
This wig was so expensive. And I just killed it in this tutorial. I'm never going to be able to wear it again. It's not going to have... I mean, really, nobody's going to watch this video, so I should be okay. Gosh, I did good with the eyebrows. I swear, they actually match really well. Uh, if I got a good cap, my hair wouldn't be standing up this tall. It would be looking pretty chic. Because I'm wearing freaking nylons on my head. Another way to make your hair look real is you add barrettes. That's right. Just right there. Because I'm youthful. Um, all right, I got to put the contacts in. <laughs> I actually haven't done this in a few months and every time I do it again it is the most horrific experience and you are welcome to join me on this journey of horror now comes the trust should you freak out you will fuck up the whole process causing yourself immense pain not really I just I'm, I'm a pussy I can't do this uh, I hate this I hate this uh, Open your eye. Oh, I don't want to do it. Oh gosh, my eyes are watering just imagining it. I hate this shit. I hate it. Oh shit, I'm scared. I'm scared. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, you can do it. All right. Um. I don't know how people do this shit. It's arcane. It's it's really barbarism. Come on, bitch. All right, it's on the eyeball. Now, as you can see, if you don't have a dark eye and your eye's a little bit lighter, it also helps close the eye and make it look a little bit smaller. What also helps in that is that I just had to have a small battle with my ocular orb to get the damn thing in. So, let's go ahead and put the wig back on. Now, if you can imagine, with the green eyes, not the brown eyes, and with the barrettes and the, the makeup and the eyebrows, you know, see the eyebrows match, you know? See, you just, it makes a huge difference. It really does. And then let's just put on an outfit. Okay, so anyone who knows me knows I would never wear this in real life. This is not my style. I actually have a closet full of clothes that I would never be caught dead in. And it's perfect for situations like this. I gotta be prudish. I'm a secretary. I'm a secretary with a wonderful freaking haircut with Muppet bangs. The back is freaking cute. Another great thing is that this shirt is so freaking intense. It is more bright and intense with contrast that it looks more superficial in color and tone than my hair. It makes my hair look duller and more natural. Jewelry! It just, it works. Look at that. I had to safety pin this because it's... I would, I would, uh apply for a job in this outfit if I was a vibrant redhead secretary type with really high self-esteem. Alright, that's enough for me. Invest in contacts. If you have dark brown eyes like this, don't just go green. Don't go blue. You need to go gray. It's the only way to make a really big difference. You can probably get away with a really expensive or a really cheap wig. If you can't afford a really expensive one, I have cheap ones too. You know, if you're desperate, put a freaking hat on. You know, put, put a headband on, put a bandana on and just have the hair hanging out the bottom. When people are describing you, they're gonna just say, dark hair wearing a bandana. They're not gonna say, she's wearing a wig. I need, my next wig is gonna let me do pigtails. Oh my gosh, this is going to happen, people. I look like a little farm girl. This didn't really help guys very much. I'm really sorry. Anyway, good luck in your endeavors.